Fire wash. Let's do this. Uh, I probably need the guide. Here we go. There's Easter eggs you can find. And they're kind of good, so you'll appreciate them. Firewatch guide. Found it. Press X to start. Jesus. Just right away. New game, of course. Oh, wait. Firewatch tips before we start. Rather than guess at where you need to go, bring up your map at all times and look at the map. Bring you'll map. see a great deal of time if you... You'll waste... You'll save a great deal of time if you take a few seconds to look at your map and go in the right direction. Bring up your map will also list your current objectives at the top of the screen. If you aren't sure what to do next, that's the easiest way for the main character to figure out and move it on. Although completely up to you, our suggestion is that the main character speaks to another character, it's a woman, about everything he can on the radio, so use the radio. If you can radio in regarding an object, why not see what she says? Keep an eye on the timer ticking down when responding to the person. It runs out, so make sure you get all the conversations with her in. And what you say to this person will just have an impact on your relationship with her. You can guide this in whatever direction you desire, and the choices will change her tone. So it's up to you how you want to treat her. You could be very nice to her. You could be rude to her. It's up to you. Are you ready for the prologue? Because I have it ready to go. Let's go. So your biggest tip there, look at the map. Just know where to go. Look at the map. I wouldn't look up anything about Firewatch because it might spoil. No, I'm not looking up anything about Firewatch. I'm looking up things about Journey. We will either finish this this week or have to... Oh, we're, oh yes. So we're in Colorado 1975. 1975. You see Julia. I guess Julia must be our friend. Do you have to hit X to continue it? You see Julia. You do. <laughs> She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. <laughs> you are drunk. Okay, what do you want to say to her? So what's your new mate? What's your, wait, wait, sorry. What, so what's, you know, major? What? Or you? You're pretty. You are pretty. What's, what's your, your major? You saw the word major, and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. It's cool. Ooh, you reply. So what's, what's yours? She asks. She sifts the air. Toxicology? Is that a burn, you ask? She says differently. Worry. She hurt, she hurt your feelings. She asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Okay. You're in an elevator. Press R2 to use objects. Picked up the backpack. Good job. Alright, I assume we have to get out of the elevator. Okay. Now what? Hmm. It says this is pretty simple stuff. You can't mess up. Load the gear on the truck, I guess? That looks like what you're supposed to do. My backpack? Yeah, it was pretty easy stuff. <laughs> Thanks, guide. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You do drink beers out on the deck. You you drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Are you liking this game so far? Because I'm loving it. Julia wants to get a dog. You'll tell me an endgame. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia while walking this dog. So what would you like to say to her? You picked up the beagle and she named him Bucket, or you adopt a shepherd and named him Mayhem? Do you want to name the dog? Bucket or Mayhem? Remember, your choice is a matter. Do you want a beagle or a shepherd? What do you want, Tom? It's up to you. It's your game. Shepherd or beagle? Your choices don't... Your choices matter, remember. What do you want? Do you want a shepherd or a beagle? It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I want the shepherd. Mayhem is an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and... Those Julia on her ones. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Man was a friend, child, and pet all wolves. You picked the right choice! I have a doggy. 1979, you talk on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about the kids, she asks. Kids? 
They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. They would be pretty good or one day, why rush? Do you want to rush to have kids or not rush? Do you want kids right away or do you want to wait? I want to wait. All right, so pick that option. Yeah, I want to wait on it. One day. She looks away out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry. You sure? Not right now. You tell her she has a body of... <laughs> but I always didn't get the memo. She says, laugh it off. One day. Okay? What the fuck? One. Okay, one day. She says, six months later, you get engaged and lying in bed on a Sunday morning. I'm sorry I laughed. I didn't expect that. Yeah. What the fuck? The body of an undergrad. You know, you could tell I'm playing this blind when I didn't see that coming. Holy yeah, shit. Alright, I see a map. Let's just look at it. Remember to explore everywhere because there's just Easter eggs you can find. And there might be a raccoon. I'm not gonna say anything. There might be. Possibly. There may or may not be a raccoon somewhere you can find. <laughs> Learn to live with bears. <laughs> no no fire. fireworks allowed. It's not working. Vended for unexperienced hikers. Oh, you have to hike. That's the thing I got this game. You gotta hike. Is there a map button? Oh, uh, sorry. Are you on day one? I'm on day... I'm assuming this is day one. Or day zero. You're not on day one yet. Yeah, no map yet. No map yet. I'm assuming I have my backpack with me. 1980. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She hasn't called. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun at the time. You fight what she gets between the sheets. You get mad or you ignore her? I ignore it. You don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about the evening. She says it was great. You on to a tiny pill of resentment. Make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants for her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man, or you fly like a Victoria's Secret model. Please choose He-Man. For the love of God, please choose He-Man. <laughs> you look awesome. <laughs> I can tell you're having fun. Yeah, I think we're not on day one yet. You just have to figure out the game. Oh, well, that's nice. I believe this game is three to four hours long. So... That's if you take your time, which we will. Two forks, there's your day one. One more mile. Oh yes, just follow this. You have to walk over it? X to climb over objects. I know you can barely read it. Yeah, it's a little bright. 1982, during the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. Made me move fuck to the dog, <laughs> Julia would yell. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare the attacker away, you beat his goddamn face in. What do you want to do? You want to be violent or pacifist? You want to scare him away? Do you want to beat his goddamn face in? I kind of want to beat his goddamn face in. Okay, but... that's your choice. It's up to you. Do you want to beat his goddamn face in or scare him away? I scare him away. Reach in your pocket like you got a gun and plan to kill him. You might just scare up all for you. May I just to scare all three of you? You run away. Jury asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want it to go that way either. Then on you will walk by the river. Okay, now you can bring up your map after this. 1984. Scene. Plans to have kids and get waylaid by work. Jury gets a fed offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut. I'm not a stupid game. <laughs> Two thousand miles away. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's a great job. I'll show you the department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. You want to convince her to take a new job somewhere else, or do you want to agree if she commutes back and forth to see you? Do you want to convince her to take a different job near you, or do you want to agree with her and say, okay, I'll commute, we can commute back and forth to see each other? What do you want to do? Uh, you ask her if she can commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that it will be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. Tell her not to pass up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She buys back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost out on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She remembers she had 
happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh yeah, this oh. game has multiple endings, depending on what you choose. She was found crying on the stairwell. He said that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. We make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget- No. <laughs> said maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. <laughs> I've seen multiple doctors having many tests. They are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. We'll have decided to keep it a secret for now. Well, that would have made her dementia worse if we had wine. So... She'd be undiagnosed. True. Okay, so... Journal, let's pick that up. I'm gonna read the journal. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh, shit. That's nudity. <laughs> let's Damn, I didn't know I was posing <laughs> naked. Damn. <laughs> Ma'am is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You enjoy your walk him to the bar to see your friends. It feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affection gets worse. Affliction. No, sorry. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over. For no particular reason, it has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home to Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. <laughs> Are we getting the bad ending? What's going on here? 1998. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits to you for a couple months. You decide to move her? I'll read the choices. How about that? You could read, like, the dialogue. Is that fair? Okay. All right, that sounds fair. I want to be able to talk, too. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility, or you determine to take care of her by yourself. Do you want to have full-time care, or you want to take care of her by yourself? Your choice? Choices matter. That's the story. What do you want right. to do? You want to send her to full-time care facilities, or you want to do it all by yourself? Because it's like, I'm very unqualified. See, so you just want to make sure she gets the uh, best care. I want care. her to have the best care. It sucks, because <laughs> my character's going to lose her. And maybe he'll visit. I don't know what the choice. You don't know the, where the story's going. Yeah, I don't know where it's going. But I want her to get proper medical care. So, facility. Damn, look at these graphics, though. I'm in love with these graphics. I just think you have to head forward, follow the path, I assume. I mean, it's a hike. You follow the path, right? Yeah. Remember, if, remember that you can run into a raccoon or any kind of animals along the way if you... It's like Easter eggs you can find. So if you want to see the raccoon... Like you found a fucking deer! I found the deer. That's an elk. Or an elk. It's like... Elks are just like giant deers. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. Uh... You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. Oh no, you made the wrong decision. You already decided not to see your old friends that much. Oh, your friends are calling you out. Yeah, my friends are calling me out. 1989, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go for some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you want. If you won't see a therapist. You won't. You... You've always really liked Susan. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God, you're going insane. Months go by. Mayhem dies. She doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you, you believe it's because you see her less and less. After seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. You think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. I think you made the wrong decision. You take it. Fuck, we should have just took care of her by ourselves. Well, what was your choice? I'm not gonna... It's your choice. I mean, that's... I hope she's okay. That's all I'm gonna what say. What are they gonna do? Oh, see, I think I think it was because if you're staying with her, you would see her every day, and then you wouldn't get pressed, I guess? 
I don't know what this, where this is going. Enter the lookout tower. Let's go. Let's go in. You could take different paths if you want to get Easter eggs, but I don't know. I don't know how to get the raccoon up here. I forget which day it is. I could look at the Easter egg for it if you want. Before you go in there, can I check? When you could do the raccoon Easter egg. Sorry, I need to check. Because I want you to see the raccoon. You like raccoons. I want to see the raccoon. All right, Easter eggs. I want to see the raccoon, boy. All right, so for the raccoon... Ooh. Woodland creatures, pet turtle. Day one, after dealing with the girls... Okay, no, 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 not yet. Not can't yet. do the turtle yet. Let me check the raccoon We're still quick. on day zero. Wait, 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 raccoon. That would be in day one, three, or 33 you can do it. One, three, or 33. Yes. It opens a granola bar on a small clearing north of the campsite meadow. You have to get the campsite meadow first. Let's go on the watchtower. I'll look around my tower where I'm going to work. You gotta enter it. You're May right. I ask, is there a run button? Well, let's open the door. Now look around. There's some Easter eggs in here. Before you turn the tower. Let's pick up the radio. Let's turn on the power. We gotta turn on the power. Yeah, no, no. Ooh, there's something in there. Let's look at it. Can we up pick uh, that it's up? It's just a pen. Some folders. I can't really do anything with it. Okay, there might be some Easter eggs in here, so I would just... And the power's off, so that's nothing. All right, old wood stove. A pine cone. Let's pick up the pine cone. Examine it. Examine. Enhance. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I just want you to look at everything, because there might be Easter eggs. I don't know what's in here. Drop the pine cone. Oh, there's a book! It's a cookbook. Cookbook. Can't read it. Natural Forest Skybook. Can't read it. I'm guessing it's because it's dark. Water Why? jug. The singular mind... Oh, that's an oh. that's an Easter egg. Oh, let me tell you the Easter egg. Do you know what this Easter egg is? Don't mind your mind alone. Alone. It's a literary. It's a literary reference. So it's supposed to be like it's like like it's like satiring like different books. It's a satire thing. It's satire. Yeah. It's not a real book. It's satire. Fucking book. <laughs> He threw that like it was two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you found the power switch. Yeah, I knew the power switch was on there, but I wanted to look, look around. around. Yeah, I understand. I, I want you to look around. Oh, I told you it was dialogue. Hello. Um, hello, whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yeah. Remember, Delilah, Delilah. is the character that you yeah, don't you change her tone depending on what you say to her. Hey there, Delilah. So what's wrong with you? Excuse me. People take this job to get away from something. So what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow what yeah, I'm doing right now. No, that's a yeah. picture of one. There's a literal one. <laughs> I, I know, I know. <laughs> Fine, then can I... All right, I'm going to have 10 raccoon pictures on here. Sure, buddy. Okay, now, I bet ahead. it's a different watchtower that has the reference I'm looking for. Oh, you have to say something. You've killed three ex-husbands. You are rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. What would you like to say to her? Okay. Um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here, and it really grinds her gears, and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. Jeez. I'm going now. <laughs> I want to look at that book. Stop talking to us. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Bye. Oh, is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Firewatch. Damn it! I want to look at that book. I found my first Easter egg. I found day that. one. Now it's day one. I found that cat. Very friendly. Okay, now you can find the raccoon. Set day one, three, or All thirty-three. Right, I must find this raccoon. It is my mission. Well, you can do it either day one, three, or thirty-three. I'm gonna do it right now. It's said to look for a, a, a rock near the campsite, right? And it's said to go north of it. Rock near the campsite. <laughs> Typewriter. Good morning, Henry. Oh, he's gonna come, she's gonna come see me. You probably slept like a rock. Anyway. Uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you I past, wouldn't put her so up there because you need full ready. concentration. Yeah. 
Light switch. Radio charger. Pick, Pick up, up my radio. All right, we got a job to do. Well, let's look for Easter eggs in here. There might be stuff in here we can look at. Hey, sorry, like that book. Slept in. You got a relaxing, <laughs> what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo. Jeez. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. <laughs> But now that Leave you're up, alone. let me quickly get you acquainted no, with no, the no, job. No, 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 There's those. a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? <laughs> a thing with a round map on it, huh? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um... You, uh, you oh, there's a reference to... that you'll really oh, like. Me. There's a reference you'll really like. Out your west facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West facing window. Confirm what Delilah is seeing. West. <laughs> Fucking fireworks? Oh, wait. I, I get to know which way I'm pointing. Um. West. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Is this west? Uh, look at your compass. I. Nope, this? that would must be north. That is north, I think. No. Wait. North, south, east. Henry! I see it. Now confirm it. Does have to be outside to confirm it? Oh wait, there's a there's a thing, fireworks ah. or post. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Before we do that, let's look around. Let's let's first reply to her. Let's kick the shit out of them. Can I write them a ticket? I'm not, I'm not afraid really. to beat the shit out of them. Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake if I I want to read stuff first. There I want to look be around. There supply box on the way. The code is 1234. <laughs> Actually, that, that's Tom, if you forget that, I'm going to slap you. Yeah. <laughs> secure. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, secure. <laughs> All right. Wait, there's books I want to look at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm done. All right, so... Did you see the book on your right? That's the guidebook. Nation guidebook. Get some. Hold on. Wait, I gotta look at the soap. <laughs> no, go to your right. 25% extra. <laughs> okay, that's cool, but I wanna see the book. What a deal. Well, uh, all right, the book are your glory. I wanna see glory, but I also wanna see the other books. Magnus Glory. Hmm. Cool. Let's look at the other books. There was another book somewhere I saw. Did you see the other book? Over oh, six million books in print. Glory. I can't read that text. <laughs> yeah, forget it. Let's go. So, I saw another book. Did you see the other book I looked at? Oh, wait. The Patriot. The Patriot. The Patriot. Yeah, I want that one. Patriot. The Patriots. Bigger solid reference. The Patriots. Donald Anderson. Yep, Anderson. That's that's a name. <laughs> that's the complete reference to Metal Gear Solid 4. Yeah. That is a reference. Anderson is a character. Fine. <laughs> I have to read this. It begins, <laughs> it begins and ends deep in Red Russia, where they sent him to spy, where they urged him to kill, and where they learned that he wasn't the patriot they had hoped. Sent to plant the poison pill of espionage to send the dinner of the communist bear, Ryan Fieldman would turn to his government doorstep to stress him to sell him. Okay, that's not the story. But, <laughs> see, first time he was feeling about as a simple controller. But with the intelligence and super skills restored by the United States government, Rice struggles and fades into obscurity. That is, until a janitor named Claudel Williams feels that he too was there the night of Stalingrad. One night everything went wrong and the truth was made clear. Can two men ever return to civilian life in the possession of information that would destroy both themselves and the presidency? Would the government of the ever let them? That is a little raccoon in it on the bottom. Apparently it was $2.50. Hmm. 
So yeah, that's your uh, that's your Metal Gear Solid reference yeah, in the game. It's the Metal Gear Solid It's the Metal Gear Solid game called Patriot or something. I forget what it's called. Guns of the Patriots. Yes, that's the reference. Yes, that's the reference. And like I know that one. I knew you were gonna flip out for that. Like I knew you were gonna be happy. Oh, the Patriot is it a Metal Gear reference. Yes, it is. I'm like, yep, Anderson is the character. Put this firmness in my I head. was waiting for that reference. That was my favorite reference. When I saw like Easter eggs, I'm like, oh, Tom will love this Easter egg. Death strikes at two. Oh, you want to look at the books in case there's. Death like... strikes at two. I don't know what that reference is. I only, just, I only know the Patriot one. That's the only one I know. Because <laughs> you always talk about Metal Gear Solid, so I'm like... The Birds of Wyoming. Hmm. Is this like Mockingbird or some shit? Maybe that's what it's referencing, to nah, kill a Mockingbird. Nah, I'm just... I don't know. Put this in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> we already looked at Glory. <laughs> yeah, I already looked at Glory, so into the sink it goes. But not the Patriot. Not the Patriot. Not the Patriot. I dropped this by mistake. Come on. Put it back on the shelf. Put that back on the... Oh, I can actually place it back on the shelf. <laughs> you want to move on? I wonder if there's, like, book collecting. You collect all the books and put them on the... On there. Death Strikes at 2. Yeah. No. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee Relocator? Is that what it says? It's a po It's a coffee percolator. Co percolator. I guess. Is that do? <laughs> Perks the coffee. I don't know. All right. I know the purple. No, 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 no. Don't put bleach on it. No. Right. No. Uh, bad Tom. All right. In, no all bleach. Right. In there. No bleach. No bleach. <laughs> Lamp. I think you just have to leave. Okay, but this pine cone is looking really interesting. <laughs> I'm not having fun with it. Let's take our backpack and leave. I've seen all the references here I want to see. All right. Time to percolate my pine cone. I just like the Middle Gear Solid reference. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to like... Old, old paper? paper? Oh! <laughs> Wait. Wait. Wait, the poor hand-drawn man. I just ran. We found that. Not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've... Oh, yeah, the guy... Didn't the guy say look at everything and, and report everything? And the I just saw a little uh, made of acid. radio thing on it. Uh, that sounds erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. <laughs> Blood liver. <laughs> Orc <pot. laughs> Wait, I really need to look at these. Which is house flow. Okay. There's a devil here. Bear to point up shit. Lost Woods. Iron Fortress. Lake of Acid. Death Mountain. Magic Circle. Oh shit. Wow. Well, I know it's my backpack or something. Because I feel like I might need this. No, you bring up the map when you leave. Oh. There's a map that you bring up when, at some point, you bring up your map. So you get a map, eventually. I just randomly check the garbage. I would head back for the mic, though. I don't think anyone can hear you. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Sorry, I really need to look at that, because I'm far away from the TV. All right. All right, you want to head out, or are we good? Lucky find. All right, I'm good now. All right. So let's open the door and leave. Oh, okay, then he gets the backpack. Okay, I was trying to pick it up. So you want to head for the lake, she said, right? And stop the people I'm head saying to off the, the lake. Lakes. All right, you want to bring up your map to see where the lake is? All right, yeah. Okay, there's my map. Zoom in the map. So the lake, we have to head for... There, Two Forks Lookout. There's your objective. Two it's forks. in red. All right, that's... All right. Um, where am I on the map? You are. I get to find rope at Nakosh Box 306. Nakosh Box 306. Which I assume is at the Two Forks Lookout, because that's what's blinking. So head for Two Forks Lookout. I assume red means objective, right? That's the only thing that's blinking. Oh, wait, Kosh Box 306. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hush box. I see them. It's down there. Look, no, no, no. Go look at your map. No, no, look at your map. You know, look down there. No. Do, do, do use D-pad. Kosh box 305. 306. It's near the Cottonwood Creek. That's 309. That's 308. 307. Where's 306? 306! Right. It's over by Two Forks Lookout. All right. I have to go west. I think I'm going west. Oh. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out the map. 
Okay, yeah, I have to go this way. Yeah, go northwest. You're going to head northwest on the map. I feel like I'm gonna get attacked by a bear or some shit. Alright, yeah, I'm going the right way. Yeah, you're the red square. You said northwest? Yeah, I think you're going northwest. Northwest, yeah, that's right. At least it's like when you move, like the map actually shakes because it's a paper map. <laughs> so if I move and do this at the same time, I'm my eyes are gonna get fucking annoyed. If that makes any sense? Yeah. Just use your map. It's your best friend. It's telling you where to go. Yeah. All right. So you're. Yeah, I'm going the right way. You just as got. I bump into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least this game actually has objectives. The other game, you have to figure it out. Yeah, you have to figure it out yourself. I'm gonna go find like a traveler. All right. You're almost at the. You're almost there. You're at two forks. Look out right now. They want you to keep going forward. All right, I think the blinking thing's me. Oh, it is? Yeah. So, yeah, you're going in the right direction then. 306. Head for 306. You're almost there. Pass the rocks. You're looking for a box. I think I'm in Red Dead. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad I'm gonna thing. I'm going to shoot a crocodile. I see a box! Oh, Is I that a Koch box? That has to be. I found the supply box. One, two, so three, are there four. a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. That map is so Take helpful. Good stuff. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I found the supply box. Great. All right, open it. One, two, three, four. Nice. We got a map. An acorn. A pot. Oh, no. There's the rope we need. There's the rope. Granola bar. That's probably helpful to have. That's for the raccoon. I thought we were supposed to leave food People out. People just stuff these things with old food. That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm gonna get attacked by a bear. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Oh, we gotta find the lake though. All right. Let's take the old rope and the granola bar, cause that will have. That's how you get the raccoon. Is the granola it's bar? Just like, I can either examine it or eat it. You wanna eat it? Do get, I eat it? I mean, you're on a long hike. You might want to. You might want to eat something. All right. Hold circle to eat. I want feed raccoon. Then but, keep it. Or you have to drop it then. Well, oh well. <laughs> there you go. Maybe there you'll find him. Deal with whoever's setting off the fireworks. Oh, they want you to deal with it. <laughs> deal with it any way you want. Copy information. You want to copy the map? Might as well. Map updated. That's probably important. <laughs> Simplify Koch. You can zoom in on it. You can read the note by pressing I triangle. Found a note. Triangle. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Oh, damn. Is that right? Armless, but yeah. It says hit triangle to read it, I think. Yeah. Off the grid and eat ants for a week type? Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. Did people lose their shit out here? Did people lose their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. You're not going to pop your top, are you, Henry? I wasn't planning on it. Oh, that's actually better. All right, Ron. Hey, man. I couldn't take it, so I locked up his look. I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking into the park. But let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. Damn. I don't like how the game's making me into a bastard. <laughs> Keep that. Let's review. Let's just leave. You want to eat it? Hold circle. It says you ate it. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it. I don't think I really do. 
Oh my god, a pine cone. <laughs> you want to drop it? Yeah, okay, let's leave. Yeah. All right, let's look at our map. Let's find the lake. All right. Deal is ever setting on fire. All right, so let's zoom in with the L1. All right, the lake. At the lake? Which which lake? Oh, okay. John Z Lake, that one. John Z Lake. Lake. John Z Lake. Do you mean Death Lake or whatever it was called? Toxic Lake? <laughs> yeah, so you have to go along the canyon and you'll find John Z Lake. I'm going to make my path forward. Yeah, I got to go hike this way. That map is so useful. It I, lo is. I love it. So specific. Like you like. He likes things specific. Yeah. You can turn subtitles on and they're already on, so I it doesn't did. matter. <laughs> I turned it on while you were talking. I turned it on mom before I started the game. Good for you. Yeah. Deal with whoever's setting up the fireworks. You're going in the right direction. You're the you're the circle, right? To oh, but square to toggle jogging. Oh, thank you, game. I don't think I can do it while I'm holding the map. Nah, you can't. Making my way downtown. Get, gonna go beat up some children. Do 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 do. No. I want to see the raccoon. I want to see the raccoon. I was too. promised a raccoon. I was promised a raccoon. Wait, wait. Claw off the tree. Uh oh. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzly well, That's not scary at all. A long time ago. <laughs> well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer <laughs> rotten meat. Oh, my God. People just disappear. Oh, no. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. <laughs> <laughs> Attach the rope. Let's do it. Christ lady, <laughs> he's just the Christ lady. Dash the rope. Damn. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down? I know he's rope. I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Maybe you call it cripple gulch. I'd go with Widowmaker or should be. Kill, kill. It doesn't matter what you call it. You can call it anything you want. What do you want to call it? How do, How do you get? expect me to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. Yeah, I think I missed my chance. Oh, the dialogue went too fast? Yeah, I missed my chance. Hey, I'm going the right way if I'm at the shale slide, right? Toward the fireworks? You're not lost. Those fireworks are going off to the west of you. It's down the slide and across the meadow, okay? Oh, that's the meadow! The meadow's where the raccoon is! Yeah, that's where the raccoon is. I must go. How I, how I used a rope. Um, R2, attach rope to it. Oh, the other side. Oh, I got the other side, okay. I thought I had to whip the rope out and then do it. But I didn't know the button. I was going to go for a cripple gulch. Ah, oh, damn it. I think that's supposed to happen. That rope is shit. <laughs> All right. Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Got We're trying. Wait, hold on. Where's the meadow on your map? I want to get that raccoon thing. Is it on the way? The meadow? Yeah. Medicine wheel? Wait. Okay. I think the meadow is on the way there. Oh, yeah. You're heading in the right direction. That's for sure. That is definitely All Jonesy right. Lake. I gotta go this way. It looks like. I'm on my way. I'm gonna get you. Port Meadow. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. So there's a raccoon here. This is the meadow. I'm staring at the big outcrop Somewhere. down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Yeah, but I want to go up those rocks. They said it was near rocks, right? The raccoon. Oh, it was a beer can. I found beer. 
finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. Ugh, people are just the worst, aren't they? They're not great, no. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Oh, you could clean it up. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and one of the raccoons is gonna wear this for a fucking hat. Fuck that. Okay, let's look for the raccoon. It's that was nearby. Oh, there's more bastards. <laughs> I hope this isn't one person that drank all this. Because then we're good. To... Wait, where are we? Colorado? Yeah. Where's uh Florida? Florida is down south. Down we're... south? Okay, we're good. We're not going to do a Florida man. All right, we need to find this raccoon. It's, it's supposed to be in this meadow somewhere. Yeah, and I need to go save the environment. <laughs> but yes, I need to look for that raccoon. Yeah. I want to help you. Where's that? The butterfly. I see the butterfly. Gonna... I found backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. All right, yeah. Got it. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire You can find a raccoon trying to open a granola bar in a small clearing north of the campsite meadow. The trash panic can be found here on the following days. 1, 3, and 33. And Not you can the report the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Alright, got it. What's L1? Inspect objects. This is the weird ass fireworks. And hold them to confiscate it. Circle. Let's confiscate these shits. Mine now. So we like we're park rangers, right? Yeah, we're park rangers. We gotta make sure no one pollutes the forest. I gotta find that raccoon though. It's bugging me. And oh. then I'm gonna turn around. There's gonna be a bear and a. Uh, Ooh, a campfire. You, want... you said west of the camp. Where was it? North of the campsite. Where's the raccoon? It's on personal rock with a granola bar. It's north of the campsite. North of the campsite. Okay. Uh... This is north. Yes, up is north. Generally. Up is north, yes. Uh oh. Two pairs of clothes. Let's support the clothes. clothes. Like, uh, uh oh, they're getting dipping. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Great. They're fucking naked. Lovely. Great. <laughs> oh, great, a bra. Bra. I found a bra. Yes, you can examine the bra. It's a kind of fucking silly. Yeah, fuck your bra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, a raccoon hunting right now. Panties. Uh, ah, <laughs> Panties. For what? I don't want to say that word again. I don't want to say panties. Why? Because you're 12? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're 12. Oh my god. <laughs> Ew, okay, well, stop touching them. They're probably underage. Let's not do that. North of the campsite, right? There's like these North rocks. Campsite. There's a raccoon somewhere. Raccoon skinny dipping. Another bra. There's a. Yes. Two naked women, forget it. Two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Can you handle it? I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's. You know. Two? Yeah. <laughs> God, this lady. Oh. I want to find the raccoon. It's too much. Wait, there's a rock up ahead. Is that the raccoon? The... I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Okay, that's progression. We gotta look for this freaking raccoon. Enjoy dealing with that. I'm a raccoon hunt. Get right back. North of the campsite, there should be a raccoon eating a granola bar. North of the campsite.
Ah, eh, we could do it a different day. It's like three and thirty-three, right? We could just. All right. Make your way back to two forks. Look out. Hey, okay? Wait, I missed it. What'd you hit? It went fine. Did you like in the middle oh, finger? Did you talk to them? No, I didn't talk to them. Thanks for going down there. Weird. I thought you could I talk to them. I was looking for the raccoon. They're like, this is a pervy. Let's let's go, Brittany. And then they left. I guess that's the pacifist version because you could actually tell them off if you wanted to. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim. Even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. Why does Delilah's voice actor sound familiar? Starting to feel like it. I feel like I've heard her voice before in a different game. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption? That's or... two forks. Look out, trail. That way. Not if they're not nineteenth-century chimney sweeps. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Do you want to go that way or you want to look for the raccoon? I want to look for the raccoon. So you head back for the campsite and then head north of the campsite. Do you remember where the campsite was? Wait, climb out. <laughs> blocked trail. You can't go in there. Damn. Yeah, it's blocked. You can't go in there. Wait, I thought I could report it. Wait, um, wait, wait. I gotta find the right spot. Come on. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm -hmm. Screwed until you clear yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Okie dokie. We gotta find some stuff. I'm a boy. Apparently. It's like a radio or something, right? I think you have to find. Ooh, a uh, boom box. Oh, a boombox. I found the boombox. So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. I like the music. Not bad. If I wanted to, I could chuck it in the ocean. You can? I, I mean, if I wanted to. I feel like it would let me. But I'm not gonna do it. Like, no, no fucking fresh stuff. No. I feel like they would deserve it, though. <laughs> Another bra, we already did that. Yeah. My bra. Right, let's backtrack. I want to see if we can find this raccoon. I want to find this raccoon. Where are you? Wait. There's Block Trail. There's the clothing. So they just left their stuff down here, but it would be a bad idea for me to toss it all in the lake. Right? Yes, I don't think that'd be wise. If you could refrain from criminal destruction of personal property while on this job, that'd be great, okay? Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, wait a minute. Whiskey. whiskey. Is that there? About half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish? Uh, Irish beer? You want to save for later? Or you want to just drop it well, in? Well, they're not supposed to have this anyway, so... <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> not supposed to have it anyway. You can stop out the campfire if you want. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Burn myself. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I would have named that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. <laughs> oh, if you let the fire go, you could have named it something. I don't want to do that. Throw their shit. 
There's gotta be a raccoon in this area. It's raccoon boy, where are you? Oh, let's find him. It said north of the campsite. So north would be that way. So head that way. I guess you can't climb up those. So keep going north. I can climb up this. I think I might find my raccoon boy today. He's eating granola bar. But where is he? Wait. Um, wait. Wait, wait, radio. Wait. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Oh! Um, there's a critter out here. A raccoon. I see it. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. <laughs> you found the raccoon Easter egg. I found him. I want to get closer. I want to see him. What did I do? Oh my god. He's, so cute. He's trying his best. You will get it. No. Yes! Dora! What fun seeing him. Is this some sort of code I missed? Are we evacuating or something? <laughs> no. Then what then? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's hominid. You scared the raccoon. Pears, pears, pears. The clue <laughs> Stupid was Delilah. Stupid fruit. <laughs> oh. <sighs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. I was until you scared the raccoon. Thanks. <laughs> Well, that's fun, I guess. <laughs> well, that's your Easter egg. You do that any yeah. day. You see him days 1, 3, and 33. Okay, I want... All right, let's head back to the lookout tower. We saw the Easter yeah. egg. It's a weird thing to want, but I want to, like, pet one. <laughs> oh, you want an option to pet the raccoon. No, like, well, that and real life. I want to, like, pet a raccoon. Because I feel like they're, like, cats, right? It feels like it. Yeah. You should be looking at your map so you don't get lost. No, I remember the way. Oh, you remember Go for that? the woods. Go past the two pairs of panties. And we're back to the lake. <laughs> boombox. Fuck your boombox. What pop song would be like a thing in 1980? Pick one. Find your way back to Two Forks Lookout. Where are you on the map? Am I right now? You're I'm still at Jonesy's Lake. Jonesy's Lake. <laughs> still there. Let's go past the path, and maybe I can find the cache. There's a cache over there somewhere. Oh, yeah, you have to find something to cut the trees down. That might be it. That might be the catch box. Maybe you have to head for the catch box. Uh, stop moving your hands, please. <laughs> you talking the character? Yes. <laughs> yeah, not your hands. I don't care about your hands. Just... I'm going to get attacked by a bear or some shit. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. I... Saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. You got a Luke Koshbox Reel 3. You're heading in the right direction because you got a cutscene. What happened last summer that accounted for this uh, windfall? Jeez. I mean... The federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were Bitch. reports that the entire we know. park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? Uh -oh. So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. How did you know that was the code? But hey! I got a 30 cents more raise because we can't have another fiasco. All right, I'm gonna wait till she's done. Down again. Okay, I think he, I think she'd be done. She'd be done? Yes, yeah, so let's be... report that university sweatshirt. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. Yeah. 
I found a book. The porpoise. Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't look Lindhorn. I I only cared about the Middle Gear Solid reference anyway. Yeah. Oh, well, we examined it. Let's put it back. Okay, you threw it on the ground. <laughs> oh, no. Let's copy the map. What exactly am I copying? Map update. So, note. You want to read it? Hit the triangle button. Oh, yep, there we go. Ron, got some bad news back home. Back at home, so hopefully they'll let me out here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down with Petey? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave, P.S. Amigos is Spanish and personal Professionals is Italian. Pro wait, professional? Professionals is Italian. Okay. That was random. <laughs> okay. Let me look around a bit more. Maybe there's something I'm missing. There's some cans of something. I'll pick up that. Drop it back in. Boom. Alright, where to go next is the question. You gotta head for the cave, I think. Yes. Go to cave 452 on the map. Cave 452? Yeah. Oh, over there? Yeah. All the way over there. Got it. Alright. That must be on the way to the... That must be a shortcut to the uh, lookout tower. Yeah, let me just. It's to the east. And that's east, so. That way. I love the fact you get a compass and a map. You always know where you're going. Oh, uh, you have to hook up to something. Attach a rope, if I have one. Because mine broke. So I just keep heading east, and we're on the trail. <laughs> I'm gonna get my jog. I have like a nor bar, so my carbs are good. <laughs> Let's go. Gotta be honest, Colorado has some beautiful um, landscapes. Yeah. Um, if I were a woods person, I guess I'd go here. But since I would never want to do that, and have someone like pointing a gun at me. You like flat trails. You wouldn't like climbing shit. I would not like climbing shit. It would be interesting to climb shit, but. I'm not gonna go on my way to do it. So I have a bit of a confession to make. Where you gotta reply. What is it? Um look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, I wonder you were yeah, sounding well, like you're a not bitch. The first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um Love life, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> anyway, I'm. Uh. I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll. I'll. I'll keep that sort of a thing to. Uh. To a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Got it. We're heading for the cave now. We're going through the, the cave that hopefully has no bears in it. <laughs> Wait. No, I just saw something over there. I just saw something randomly. Like a little thing came up. What was it? I saw like words pop up for like a split second. What was it? I don't know. Uh, I didn't see it. It was too fast. It was too fast. Yeah. Uh, where? Oh, what? Something blipped. Yeah, these loaded in. Oh, those loaded in. Okay. Well, that sucks. Well. Uh, well. Here's hoping that wasn't important. It just says to head to the cave on the guide, so. Head to the cave. Probably get attacked by random creatures. Yeah, you just have to... Oh, it's thundering. That's Great. the game, I think. Nearby storm. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad. Great, I hate thunder. Because of the lightning? It just thunder means lightning. we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Delilah, that's like a one in a million chance. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Uh, I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so. Okay, you're in one in a million chance. <laughs> all right. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. Really? These people are so unlucky. Yeah. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. 
I'm gonna kill them. Kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. Suicide. Would you believe? Oh. Well, I, yeah. that got dark. Uh, yeah. That, well, well, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm, we're gonna go. Oh, shit. We're gonna get a cotch box here. One. <laughs> Is it bad? The first thing I found was a thing of rope. Hey, we got horns. I don't know what they do. <laughs> yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. The flashlight hey. might be. In the boxes? Why is that? I don't really know what I'll do with an ear horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. You want to take them? Let's examine them. Oh, we can't take them with us. Dang it. Well, let's drop them. We could take the fire, what, the fireplace? Yeah, the fire slides. <laughs> the fireplace. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Do they work? They don't. Wait, wait. Ah. Oh, ah. shit. <laughs> you're blinded. <laughs> Toggle the flashlight. Now you have a flashlight. Nice. You wanna Does keep this it? work? Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, we should probably close the box. So no, what wait, else? No, oh, let's first. copy the map. Well, what am I copying specifically? Coordinates. Coordinates. If you don't have coordinates, you can't progress. Because you won't know where to go. Oh, damn. Well, now oh, that's important. <laughs> Alright, any notes or anything else in here? I want to make sure. Just Before, proper... Oh, this even says what it is. Yeah. Thunder Canyon. Oh, you're almost there! You just have to follow that to... Hey, yeah, we're almost there. We just have to go to the cave, which is right... It's... Keep going. I, I need to pay more attention. All right, let's see. All right, map. I, I just want to see where I am. Let's see. I am here. And you're almost at the cave. Go for the cave. And, yeah. Oh, this is going to suck. Cave. Found it. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? <laughs> Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? Maybe with the cave's echo? Rocks. Or do you want to just... tell people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. Oh, you're scared if you so... do the cave echo, you might wake so... something up. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh, well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Play with Cape's Echo. Ah, danger! It doesn't seem that danger. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. That was worth it. <laughs> we already did the Echo. The path leads through the cave. No, no, no. Back no, it was me cave. fucking with her. Another lookout. They go in. They never come out. No. <laughs> oh, this is not one of your jokes. Uh, so this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. Oh, you could have done it if you wanted to. If I wanted to. Hey, didn't they say to do all dialogue options? Hello? Yeah. See, so you didn't make anything up. You're fine. Oh, gate. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago. So Find the keys. Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Never mind. Oh, damn. Damn, yeah, we can't go in. Maybe you can, find <laughs> you can play the echo one more time if you want to. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank. <laughs> That was stupid, <laughs> but funny. All right, uh, climb the rocks, I guess. We made out of the cave. Get me the fuck out of here. Got a frame rate dropped. <laughs> Figure. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What? What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go... <laughs> what? It's, it's, it's madness. <laughs> gotcha, okay. I get it. <laughs> Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Oh, yeah, part of the fun, sure. <laughs> Wait, what made you laugh? I'm just saying it's outside. <laughs> it's outside, and people can go wherever they want. <laughs> it's like, oh, 
<laughs> She's like, look, Hamish, there's something important I need to tell you. <laughs> it's outside. <gasps> and people go where they want. <gasps> no. You just like how much of a smart ass she yeah, is. Yeah, she's just <laughs> fucking with me. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> we need to find our lookout tower. I need to go to my lookout tower. I need to live past day 33. Well, that doesn't look safe. Jump the gap. Okay, good. He doesn't jump like he's five years old. <laughs> That's good. Are you even going the right way? Can we check our map? Just to make sure. All right, fine. Check my map. All right, let's see here. All right. So yeah, we are. Oh, All the right, lights turned. Right on. That makes it easier. All right, I need to go this way or that way. Which one's quicker? Um, uh, not sure. Looks like that way is quicker. Oh, but there's rocks. Oh boy. I can't wait to get mugged. <laughs> so I feel like this game is about surviving the day, and you just have to like survive each day, and then survive. And you just have to deal with the wisecracking Delilah. Oh uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna climb and someone's gonna pop into my face. <laughs> oh my god, no jump scares. Just please. like, <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking eaten by a bear or some shit. Hello? Is this... If you're gonna kill me, can you make it quick? No? Are we going the right way? We Should are. We... Yeah, it's a straight path. If you're gonna mug me, please make it quick. <laughs> and don't. Kill don't worry, me. this isn't a horror game. This is an adventure game. And don't kill me and eat my corpse. I wouldn't make you play a horror game. This is an adventure game. We're on an adventure. I don't know. I think I'm just scared of being lost in the woods. Trail closed sign. Oh, no. We gotta report that. Oh. And I think we're exhausted. Oh, we just got bit by something. No, no, no. Oh, we have fell. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. We broke the sign. The, <laughs> the trail was no longer closed. We're breaking the law. No. We're breaking the law. Yeah, we're breaking the law. We found it. All right. Through fair and the bear. No, we're not going bear tooth point. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> we are not going there. Uh, you want to go to uh, bears everywhere lane? Nope. I guess you just keep going straight. Uh, I go south now. It looks like. Yeah, it looks like. Wait a, a minute. What's in here? Oh god. Wooden sign. Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I think he scared himself. I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry. As an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is Forrest Burns, anyway? Well, that would be a pun, Hank. A glorious pun. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo, bud? Oh, man, that's even worse. Flo, bud. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. Do -do. Shh, shh. It's still uh, the outhouse. So it's, uh, <laughs> the outhouse, then, in terms of going Fuck to you, Burns. You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. <laughs> well, number one, at least. And, uh, no. full Please disclosure, right. I pee wherever I want yeah. as well. Do it! TMI! I don't want to hear what you pee! TMI! <laughs> generator. Uh, fuck it, I don't care anymore. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... Oh, you could use the outhouse. My hair dryer. Hair dryer. Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. <laughs> I wonder if you actually use the toilet. I feel like I'm going to be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed.
exist, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. <laughs> mm, sure, I'll do that. There's an old basket. Old baseball. Old baseball. It looks disgusting. I dropped that shit. It has germs on it. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You know what I'm trying to do. Hold on, wait, wait, whoop, whoop. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't throw like you're, like, five. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm getting patient. Hold on. Wait, 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 whoop, whoop. Hey! No trophy? Oh, come on. Come on. No trophy? Come on. <laughs> Who left the baseball in there? Uh, we're heading the right direction, right? Yeah, we're yeah. good. Yeah, wait. I feel like if I turn there it around. is. Yeah. The lights are on. Home sweet home. Who, who left the lights on? Me. No way. I think it's one of those. Hop over. I don't no, know. only if I one, two. Oh, got you. I don't have to. I feel like it's gonna be a jump scoring walk in here. Really? Why? Nah, that won't be. It's I'm just gonna be progression. I'm gonna be attacked. Let's go back into our outhouse. The raccoon won revenge for his granola bar. Report the vandalism. Oh, what? <laughs> no, the birds of Wyoming. Oh, no, thank God my raccoon picture is okay. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, wait. Hold on, wait. Wait, hold on. Let me get it. Hold on. Well, that's what we look like. You look like a dad bod dad. You got, got that dad body. <laughs> Poor Julia. I don't know if she's dead. The game didn't really tell us if she died or not. Got dementia. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the forest service know what happened. Wait, I, I think I need to go look for my typewriter. There's glass everywhere. Yeah, to end the day, I think you just have to keep finding the evidence, maybe? I don't know. It said that you go to Watchtower and ends the day, so I guess you have to just keep finding the vandalism evidence. I gotta go find that typewriter. Oh, is that what you think you have to do? Oh, she put in a car. Probably that. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe the girls at the lake? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but or him. I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now it's you. Bring some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. Get much, but at least if anything else happens, so we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I well, need you to feel safe <laughs> out here. I can't tell if you're getting impatient or if you're just having fun. <laughs> just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache, and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades. I'll see what I can do. Grenades. Sure. Uh, oh, pick up the typewriter. Starts the next day. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, there's more dialogue trees. Apparently. Maybe it makes you. It makes it so that you can replay it. I guess to get all the dialogue. But we're not gonna do that. <laughs> so this day is kind of short too. Not that short though. It's a couple paragraphs. <sighs> I'm gonna put the typewriter back in my room. I need this in my life. It is in your room now, automatically. Wake up. Oh right, we drank whiskey. No, no, it was just coffee. Hey, wake up. Oh, you have to pick up the phone thing every time. Wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Good first day. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. Right. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, 
You probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Survey communication lines north, north of the canyon. Go north of the canyon. Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. All right. Oh, yeah. You're gonna head for Koch Box. Oh, sorry, you head back to Cave 452. There's the reference again. They both like fucking pinky for <laughs> Chickheads. Motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, it's guys on soap. What? Soap. That's disgusting. Oil soap. That sounds disgusting. It belongs in the sink. It belongs in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's anything like up here that I can look for. Broken. Oh, oh. it's broken. Great. <laughs> it's not even the right time. Wyoming. Raccoon Boy. Uh. Different trees, if that fucking helps. <laughs> uh, let's see. Folders. I remember I randomly found, like, a map in, like, a piece of trash. Would this be a good place to stop the episode? Because we just did a day. Yeah, we just did a day. I'm just going to be looking around for stuff. Alright, I'll stop the episode here. Hey. Ow. Oh, you good?